Welcome back to Suvita Everything, guys. So I know a lot of you received gifts throughout the holidays, and you probably got a Suvita. I got my niece here. Her name is Johnny, and she's going to represent you today. So Johnny, here's your gift. Ah, uh, thank you. Ex surprise. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so the first thing you gotta do is now you wanna learn everything how this works, but first we gotta open it up. You ready? I'm ready. I absolutely love it. You love it? Yes. All right, so that she got out of Nova as you can see. I like that she was not gentle with it. She just opened that thing up. <laughs> I love it. That's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> she has no idea what to do. Have you ever cooked with you, Johnny? No, never. All right, so here's the deal. We are going to start from the beginning. The first thing you need to do is get some containers. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm gonna give her total freedom to go in the back of the house herself and get whatever pen she thinks it will work good. So let her do it. Let's see what she's gonna come up with. This one? Yeah. How about this one? Oh, that's better, okay. Okay, so here are her options, which are quite interesting. Why did you go with this one? I don't know, I just picked it. <laughs> that was your first option, which is good. But the problem is, as you can see, the circulator here, it connects on the back. And if for you, in order for you to put it in here, what's gonna happen? You know, it's like, you gotta put all the way to the bottom. It's not gonna work. This one is out. Bye-bye. This one is a good option. It's a very good option. As you can see, it's nice and dirty and I love it that way. <laughs> anyway, that's my fault, by the way. Okay, so this one is good because it's a little bit deeper, but at the same time, we have to go, look at that, even more lower over here, which is, which will work. You see, it will work okay, but it will not be ideal, okay? So you want a deep pot, minimum, you know, you gotta be deep. This one here is a lot better option because it's deeper. And this is what I used to cook on my, <laughs> this is what I used to cook on my pizza oven. That's why it's dirty, okay? Don't judge me. So this one is better because look, it's nice and deep and it will work just fine. So this one is a good option. Good job, give me five. Now let me recommend to you what is the ideal thing to have if you can and if you wanna make a purchase. This is the container I will recommend and it's on the link in the description below. It's clear, it's nice and deep and it was made for it and it's easy to clean. There is actually almost no cleaning. When you're done, you just dump the water out and you're done. That's even better. Yeah. <laughs> so this is how it works. You grab the thing here on the back. Okay. And you just snap it in here and you tighten it up. Go for it. Voila, you're done. All right, so here's the deal. Now, the cool thing about this container is that it comes with a lid. You need a lid. Yes. Why do you need a lid? Because as you're cooking, water will evaporate and sous vide cooks for a long period of time. Let me explain to you what sous vide is all about. People think that sous vide is cooking boiling. You're not boiling the meat. Think of sous vide as you are storing the food. Let me try to be very clear with that. As an example, you cook a regular steak for about 10 minutes on a regular pan. But on sous vide, you might cook a steak for two hours. Wow, okay. It's a lot longer, right? Yes. So. You're not really cooking the steak, let me explain. When you're cooking a steak, you're sitting down next to your pan and you're touching it and you're moving it and it's being cooked. When you're cooking sous vide, you're gonna throw in there, walk away and come back later. Okay. So for example, you put in your steak in here and it's going to be cooking. You're gonna go grab your son at school. You're going to grab your, you know, go to the gym. Uh, it doesn't matter what it is that you do, when you come back and it's gonna be cooked perfectly every time. If you get caught up in traffic and you need to come back and those two hours have passed, nothing's gonna happen. Oh, that's good. It's not gonna overcook the steak. But if you're there sitting down and cooking it yourself, and if you leave it there and you go outside and you come back, that steak is gonna be burned and your house is gonna smell and be stinky. Let me give you another example to cook a big roast. Let's say you are, if you are an advocate of smoking meat and cooking onion, your smoker. As you can see, I am. You wanna cook a nice pork butt. And a pork butt takes about 12 hours to cook. But cooking it sous vide is gonna take you about two days to cook it. Now you might be thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna be cooking a pork butt in two days? You're not really cooking it, you're just storing it. You put it in there, forget about it, don't have to worry about it. When you come back, it's gonna be cooked, perfectly cooked. Now, what if you come back after two days? If you come back after two days and a half? What happens? Nothing's gonna happen. 
it's still going to be perfect anyway. Oh. So it's going to be perfect every single time. Now there is a period where you have to stop if not the consistency inside of the meat will start breaking down and becoming a little bit different and you might not like it. Oh. But if you forget it on a long cook, if you forget it for three hours, four hours, nothing's going to happen. That is amazing. I know. <laughs> That's why I like it. Sous vide works for me perfectly. Why? I get to my office, I prepare my food, I drop it in. I go to work. And then whenever I'm ready, that's when it's ready. Not when the food wants to come out. So that is the concept. And you're not boiling it. A lot of people might think, oh my God, you're boiling. The you're not boiling the meat. You are cooking it at a precise temperature, which can stay a lot longer than if you were to put it in the pan. Because on the pan, you're going to overcook it. And you're going to dry the meat out. Here, nothing is going to happen. I will do a very extensive video on times, temps, everything that you need to know in a later video. So stay tuned for that. But I hope you understand the concept, how it works, and how awesome it is. Now, now we're going to cook it up. Are you ready to cook something? I'm ready. This is important, all right? Whatever it is that you are about to do today, this can never come back. And what do I mean by that? Today is your most important cook ever. My first cook, believe it or not, I hated it. It was horrible. You know why? Because I said, you know what? I'm just gonna grab whatever I have in the freezer and I'm gonna cook it up. And I got a frozen pork loin that has been there for three months. Oh yeah. So I cooked it and it was terrible. It was terrible, oh my God. Anyway, so you can never get back what you're going to cook today. So we are going to go out and we are going to buy the most nicest expensive steak that you can afford because it is your first cook. All right, so let's do it. So we're on our way to get our steaks because she want to cook steaks and she's right. Yes. Yeah, steaks is always better. Anyway, you want to look for a nice thick cut of steak. You don't want those little thin ones. If you're going to a regular supermarket, just make sure you ask your butcher um, or the you know the people that work on the back to cut it for you nice and thick any supermarket will cut it for you thick you just have to ask so let's go get those steaks huh Johnny I'm ready Johnny I have never seen that guys look at this this is so cool she has a baby and then check this out it goes all the way back to the car and he basically blows the air on the baby. You are a genius, Johnny. And it works magic. If you live in South Florida, heat is a problem. So this is absolutely genius. I love it. Looks good, huh? Yes. Pick whatever one you want, Johnny. This one. That one? Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Stay focused. I need this. <laughs> Come on. I need this. This is better. Scanning. <laughs> 20 seconds. All right, so she made a great choice, which she got uh, New York boneless, and it's a thick cut. You want a thick cut, you don't want it too thin. But it was what it was interesting. Johnny, what happened? What is this? I had to get something for What me. is this? Chocolate. Oh my God. I love it. You did a great choice on the meat. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, bag it up and cook it. Ready. Now we're gonna put in plastic so that we can cook it sous vide. That's... Wait, plastic? Yeah. Yeah, you have to put in plastic. But isn't that dangerous? Well, that's a good question. Uh, I know a lot of people have a you know misconception that it's very dangerous and stuff. I'm gonna make it nice and simple. When you're using plastic, make sure that your bag is BPA free. Okay. That's the only thing that you really care about. There's a lot of variations out there. I can really go in depth on this and this video will be like five hours long and we don't want to deal with that. No, no. So, okay, as long as it's BPA free, BPA. it's good to use. I'm going to show you some options. Hold on, before we go, I need space. What the heck is that? my chocolate. Come on. I, I, no. Why is this even here, dude? All right, uh, this needs to get out. We'll put it here just so that, uh, this is not a sponsor ad. 
you better tell them. This is not a sponsor ad. Yes, I, I don't even know what. So here are our options, Yanni. Let's clean this table up. We have the regular standard zip ziplock zip lock bag. This is a freezer bag. Make sure you got the freezer bag, okay? BPA free. And then we have the other one, which is the fancy ziplock bag, which you can suck it out. And you basically use this tool and you just suck it all out. It's fine, it's nice and cheap, okay? And then we have the next option, which is a vacuum uh, sealer bag. And these bags look like nothing, but they have like little, I don't know, like texture, and it allows to suck the air out. These are a little bit more pricey, but in order for you to suck the bags out, you need to have, you need to have a vacuum sealer. This is a nice, inexpensive one that you can get and you can just basically put it in there and it sucks the air out now there's another one let me get it for you one is this one here and this is a called a vacuum chamber bag johnny now this one here is very very affordable bag okay these bags are like pennies when these ones can be kind of like very expensive Those are the, like, the these are the vacuum bags yeah oh. so now these are the best two options. However, does it mean that you cannot use this one? No, you can use this one, it's fine. But you need plastic, you need to put it in plastic. But it's best to put it in this one or? Now, good question, so this is the deal. This is your okay option and it's great. I use it all the time and it's fantastic. It also comes on this thing here, which is a roller and you can make your bag whatever size you want. Let's say you have a big rib. You heard that car? Yeah, this is live, man. So this is nice and long and you have a rib. I mean, you're not gonna be able to put like a rack of ribs here. So yeah. you can use this one and put it, which will work great. Now the vacuum chamber, it's very expensive. The vacuum chamber costs, I have a link on the description below about the price. I don't know exactly the price, but it's the best you can get. But it is an expensive investment, but the bags are pennies. Mm. So let's say if you wanna start off, you buy this one here and you're gonna do a lot of sous vide, this is good. And, but it gets expensive. Uh, but this is really cheap. This is about, I don't know the price. I won't put prices. I won't talk about prices because prices will change. You can see on the description below how much this costs. But these bags are expensive. These bags are cheap. On the long run, this one is a lot better if you're gonna do a lot of sous vide. This one is the best option at affordable. And if you don't wanna get any of them, this will work just fine, right? Now, because she's my niece and I have to take good care of her, this is for you. Ah, oh, yay, okay. thank you. You're welcome. So that's gonna be hers and we will be using this one today and we're gonna be using this, the vacuum bags. Now, if you don't wanna go with the investment and you wanna use Ziploc bag, there's two ways for you to suck the air out of here. You will put your stake and then you just basically push your, the air out and then you seal it and you put it to cook. The other option is, which I don't recommend it, is you put your steak and you grab a little bit, uh, uh, you grab a little straw and you put it here on the side, mm -hmm. like that, and you suck it out manually like this, <laughs> and you have an amazing taste of raw meat oh, together mm -hmm. with garlic powder and stuff. <laughs> it's disgusting. Don't do that. No. Okay. The other option is called a water displacement. And I'll explain. You put your steak inside. Okay. And then you fill your container with water all the way to the top. As you go down with your steak, it will automatically take out all the air. Oh. And you go all the way to the edge and you just basically seal it out and then your steak will be completely sealed. I like sealed. that option better. You like that option better? If I have to do this. If you have to do that, that's a, you don't want to suck it out? Definitely not. Hell no. <laughs> so there are, those are your options, okay? I'm not cooking any steak, she is. We are going to season it, season for real. A lot of people think that because it's sous vide, you should not season it, you should season it a little bit lighter. No, 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 season like a regular steak, okay. all right? We're only gonna be using salt, pepper, and garlic powder. That's it. It's good. I've did a huge video on how seasoning works. If you should season it before or if you should season it after, you can check out that video later on. I'll put it on the description or on the card above. And uh, 
you should always season your steaks before. There's a reason why you can watch that video, okay? That's the plan. I'm not doing it. She's gonna season the steaks and we're gonna cook them up. But before we cook it up, we are going to basically be loading this baby up. Here's how to you fill it up, Johnny. Basically, you wanna fill it up with tap water, not spring water, whatever, just regular tap water. The only thing you need to remember is that when you're filling this up, you gotta keep in mind that you're gonna put your meat in there. Yeah, so you don't wanna overflow it. Like if you put it all the way to the top, like my mouth did with the ham. Check out that ham video. He filled it up all the way to the top. When I put my ham, water everywhere. So just keep that in mind. You don't need to fill it all the way up to the top. Just put it in there. So can I cook sous vide in the sink right next to... <laughs> <laughs> Why would you want to cook it in the sink? <laughs> because it's easier and my apartment's small, so I don't have a lot of space. All right, so it's funny that she says that because I tried that. You know, the sink is stainless steel, so I understand why you would do it. But what happens with me is when I cooked it in the sink, it worked perfectly. It works perfectly. And it's great because it's right there. You put the water in, you heat up the water, you right. cook it. And then when you're done, you just take it out. So the container is no need, right? But my sink lost the seal all the way around the sink mm -hmm. because the water heats up. So it's heating and cooling, heating and cooling the sink all the way around. And that cost me a lot of money to fix the sink. Oh no, okay, okay, I won't do it in the sink. Put it in the container. Container. All right, let's do it. Good, now we got our water here. You did it perfectly. Now we're gonna talk about a little bit of time and temperature. Sous vide cooks about time and temperature combined together. So I'm not gonna get too deep into it. I know that everybody is learning how to cook it. I'm just going to give you a tip on how to get started, okay? As time progresses, you're gonna get better and better and better, and you're gonna know automatically how you wanna cook your steak and your pork and blah, 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 all that stuff. But as a beginner, you need to have some type of guide. And the best guide that you can have in order to know how long to cook something is by watching all my videos. <laughs> Watch all the videos because, you know, you're gonna learn a lot. I recommend two things. Number one, watch the videos and do a search, sous vide everything, and then you would search, uh, like for example, sous vide everything, steak, and it would show you a video on how I cooked it. The other option would be uh, the Jew app. Jew is fantastic. Jew is, Jules is this circulator here, okay? This circulator here is fantastic, I love it. This one is the Anova. I have every single circulator out there. They're all fantastic, they all work great. But the app for this circulator here cannot be touched. So you basically download it and check this out, John. Let me show it to you. So you open up the Jewel app and then you click right here, check this out. You click right here, you see it has the guides for everything, mm -hmm. all the guides that you wanna do. And then you scroll down to the bottom and you will see beef, okay. right? And then you can choose your steak, for example, ultimate steak. And then Okay, let's cook the Ottoman steak. Now, the great thing about it is that it gives you a visual dentist how well you want it to be cooked. Oh, wow. So if you want to go to like a 22, 122 Fahrenheit, that's how your steak will look like. If you want to go to the next one, 126, your steak will look like that. 129, it will look like that and so forth, you see? Okay. So here you pick your doneness for the steak. Now, my recommendation is if you want your steak perfectly cooked, and it's cooked great, I say cook at 129. Okay. Now it depends on your taste. You like a medium rare, you like it well done, how do you like it? Medium rare. She likes it medium rare, so for, for her, we're gonna cook at 129. If you like a little bit more well done, you cook at uh, whatever temperature you desire. This app is fantastic, they did a great job, and I recommend you, as a beginner, you go here. As time progresses, you're gonna know what you have to cook how long you have to cook, you get experience with it and you get better and better and better. So, but for today, we're gonna cook at 129 for two hours. Okay. Now, why are we gonna cook for two hours? You don't wanna just put it in there in 129 in 20 minutes and that's it. It's not gonna cook the protein. You have to, it has to cook for a minimum of two hours. I will do a video very extensive 
about sous vide and temperature and time in the future for everybody to understand the science behind it. But right now, we're gonna keep this video simple. If not, it's gonna be too long. This video is probably gonna be too long already anyway. So, we're gonna cook it at 129. Got it? Got it. Now we're gonna season it. She's gonna do it. I'm not doing nothing. I'm sitting back and recording. Salt, pepper, and garlic powder, heavy on the seasoning. Let's do it. Let's do it. Interesting question. What did you just ask me? That's a lot of steak, Guga. And? It's just for you and me. I know, it's just the both of us. Now here's the cool thing, guys. We're seasoning all of these steaks, but we're only gonna eat two. And we're gonna put everything in the freezer and seasoned. And whenever you wanna cook, Johnny, you just throw them directly into the sous vide. Isn't that awesome? That is awesome. You don't have to do anything. They'll be ready for you. Boop, that's it. it. I'll season these bad boys, Johnny. Let's do it. Hey, that's all you can go heavy. Like go heavy. Go heavy, yeah. I like that. More, even more. Go heavy. Go heavy, kick steak. Go heavy, go hard, go hard, hard, hard. Go heavy. It's a thick cut of steak, so you wanna go real heavy. Oh that's okay. See, that's okay. See, this happens, guys. This is okay because it's sous vide, so we're gonna balance it all out. Now, remember, always season both sides. So let's do it. So see, you come here, you see that one, you put a little bit too much. That's okay. It's no problem at all. This one, you put a little bit less. All right, now they are thick cut of steak, so you wanna season them heavy. Go for it. That's okay. This is okay. Just rub it. This is okay. Nothing's gonna happen. Because it's sous vide, it's going to be perfectly cooked. You don't have to worry about it. You didn't do anything wrong. Excellent. Now we're gonna bag these bad boys up, all right? all right? I suggest you using a glove, guys. Use a glove. I'm gonna teach you a trick, okay? So when you're putting it in the bag, you always want to fold the bag back like so. And the reason you wanna do that is that so you don't get this part here dirty so that when you seal it, you have a good seal. But if it's full of like beef juices, you won't have a good seal. Okay. So make sure you guys always fold it back, throw your steak inside, and then we're gonna take it to the sealer and we're gonna seal it up, okay? It's important to keep it nice and flat, guys. You don't want your steak to be bent. So that's what she was doing right there, keeping it, the steak nice and flat on it. And that's perfect right there. Now we're gonna do the rest, let's do it. Now you're gonna vacuum seal these bad boys. All right. Let's see, put it in there. You wanna make sure that it goes inside. Oh, right here? Yeah, it goes in there, there you go. And close it. And there's a latch right here, just push it down. Push it all the way down. There you go. And then there's seal and vacuum seal. So vacuum seal it. Now you want to help it out just like this so that, you know. There you go. Nice tight seal. It will stop automatically. Nope, nope. You wait for it and it will stop. Oh, wow. This is fancy. Fancy. There you go. Now it's ready. Now you open it up. Boom. Your steak is done. Look at that. Good job, Johnny. Fantastic job. Now, like you were asking me, we're only two of us today, so we're not going to eat all these steaks. This is a lot of steaks. So what we're going to do is we're going to save these two here, and we're going to put it in the freezer. We're gonna freeze it exactly like it is, seasoned and everything. And then what we're gonna, whenever you're gonna cook these steaks, all you need to do is put an additional 30 minutes. Okay. And it'll be perfect. perfect. Exactly like these steaks are gonna come out, these will be frozen, but it will be ex perfect every time. Now we're gonna head and cook them up. Ready? Ready. Now you're gonna prepare this. So here's step one. First thing you gotta do is turn on the circulator. Right here? Yep, exactly. And then we're gonna set the temperature to what? 129. That's right, set the temperature at 129. For two hours. Yep, two hours. We're gonna 
Just throw it in there now. Put the lid on and walk away. Let's have some fun. All We're right. done. All right, Johnny, it's ready. Go ahead and take out the lid. Put the steaks in there. And your job is done. Put the lid back on. And now we're gonna have a party. But let me show you a trick, watch this. When you put the edge like this, like that, and you put your lid on, put your lid on. There you go. You need no clip. Oh, perfect. Now let's go have fun. We just went out with the kids and we had a bunch of fun. We just came back. You see, you don't have to be here babysitting it, Johnny. That's the best part. I love it. Now it's ready and we're gonna sear it. Now we're gonna talk about searing it. Searing means you gotta finish the meat because when we take it out, it's gonna look kind of funny. So here's the deal. I did an entire video series about searing. You can sear in so many different ways. You can check out that series on the description below. You can sear with a torch, you can sear with a pan, you can sear with a barbecue, you can sear with a million different things. But the important thing is sear what it's available to you right now. Today, we're gonna have fun though. I mean, we're gonna have fun, right? Yes. So, you know, I have, here, give me that giant fun toy here, which is called a Sears All, and I definitely recommend it. Sears All, I recommend it, but not everybody's gonna have it. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Yes, it gets really hot. <laughs> so this is a cool toy to have, but we're not gonna use this one because a lot of people might not have this one. And also in Amazon, they um, sold out. Sold out. Oh. I guess my entire videos made them sold out. Oh. They are not a sponsor of this video, by the way, or any video. And we have the second one, which is a regular torch. Anyone can buy this. I definitely recommend this torch. It's fantastic. And this one is for you. Ah, right, thank you. You got another toy. Nice. Now, I don't know how to use it though. Uh, we're going to learn how to use it right now. So first we're going to take out the steaks and we have to pat them dry. That's very important. Why you want to pat them dry? Because if it's not dry, it takes longer to sear. And the longer it takes to sear, the steak will cook even more. But if it's dry and you're just burning the top, it will sear very fast. Now searing is not just for the looks. It also develops a nice charred flavor and also a more complex flavor to your steak. So you have to sear it. You would not taste good without searing. So let's take it out and let's do it. Let's do it. All right. Find the pressure washer with the neighbor, okay, Johnny? Okay. All right, go ahead and take it out. I had to come inside because my neighbor decided to pressure wash his boat right now and interrupt us. So we're gonna continue in here. Okay, Johnny, let's do it. Let's open that up. There you go. It smells amazing. It smells so good. It smells good, huh? Yes. So they think I'm lying when I tell them in the video. I'm not lying. All right, so now we gotta pat them dry, Johnny, like I was mentioning, very important. Go ahead. You cannot skip this step, if not, you could overcook your steak in theory. I'm going to give you a quick lesson on searing. This is a torch that you're going to be using and we're going to sear outside. We're not going to sear inside. Does not mean that you cannot sear inside. You can. It's just that your entire house will smell like steak and I guess there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but we're going to sear outside, okay? This will produce less smoke than a cast iron pan. A cast iron pan will produce much, much more smoke than a um, torch. So, as you can see right here, the flame goes all the way up to the tip. The only thing to remember is that there is two th flames. There is this flame right here, and then there's the larger flame. Just the only thing that the only thing that you have to remember is you can use the entire big flame. Okay. Just don't use the little flame. Because if, if you touch it with the little flame, it will have something called a uh, torch taste. And oh. that doesn't taste very good. It doesn't sound good. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to use the entire flame. Okay. okay? Now we're going to grab a little container so we can put it and we can sear the steaks. Let me get it. Not container, I mean a little thing to, you know, sear the steak. So this is perfect. Links down below if you're interested in getting this, but you don't really need this. You don't really need this one. You can actually just use your plate. But since I have it, we're gonna use it anyway. 
If you use your plate, it's fine as well, okay? But make sure you take the paper towel out. If not, right. you're going to... All right, so paper. basically, let's go ahead and put it in there. Now, my neighbor is still using his pressure washer, so we're going to go sear it and show you guys what it looks like. Use the big part of the torch, not the little one. Big part. Are you ready for this? Do it. Let's go. As you can see right here, it's perfectly medium rare all the way through and that is what you're looking for. Now sometimes when you cut it right away, it's not pink, but it becomes pinker and pinker and pinker. And that is because of the oxygen that is, there's no oxygen. Si, carne, vamos a comer. Okay, the baby's hungry. We gotta cut it up, but let's do it. Vamos a comer una carnecita. Tú estás de hambre. This is my goddaughter. Kailani. Dice hello. Hello. Ah, hello. Mm -hmm. Tú quieres carne? Sí. She wants the meat. Okay, so let's try the meat. Okay. Let's see if it's good. She's going to be the judge. Abre la boquita. ¿Cómo está? ¿Está bueno? Uh -huh. ¿Te gusta? Okay. Otro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she says more. She wants more. Okay, otro. Cola. <laughs> Cola. Amazing. Amazing. Ah, oh, give me five. <laughs> Very good. Well, if you have a baby approval, you know it's good, right, Johnny? It's definitely good. Because babies are picky. She's asking her if she wants it. Okay, Johnny, now you're gonna give it a go. Yeah, the the it. fruit of your labor, Johnny. Tell me how good it is. Mm -mm -mm. So juicy. <laughs> juicy. I love it. It's good. soft and tender. Yeah. Very good. Was it easy, Johnny? Super easy. Yeah. yeah. Ah, too? Okay, 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 okay. She wants more. <laughs> when the baby speaks, you just do it. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this is our first tutorial for beginners. Yay. I really hope Yay. you enjoy it. It was a lot of fun. She wants more. More. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot to teach. And uh, please check out all my other videos. And I'm going to be doing... Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to give you more. I'm going to give you an extensive review on everything, how everything works even more. But right now, we're going to go ahead and enjoy our dinner because it's dinner time already and the baby is hungry. Mas carne. Mas carne. Okay. She wants more carne, which means more meat. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe for future videos. And if you're interested in any of the equipment I used today, it's everything is in the description below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. The next one, I'm going to do an extensive review with everything that I, sous vide is all about and you guys are going to learn it about. Thank you so much and we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Tira un besito. Un besito, tío. Ah, dice bye-bye. See you, see you next time. See you next time. Mas carne. She wants more carne. We gotta go. Take care, guys. Bye bye.